touch of a hand lit the fuse of a chain reaction of chemicals to assess the um I originally put on the music to make things less awkward, but I realized it made things more awkward. So, actually, you know, it's better than the silence. So, hi everyone, like my YouTube channel, and I'm being very quiet because my sister's not here. But today we're going to this is the thing, by the way. Today we're going to be doing a night routine video, and I'm very very excited. I always look so weird with my hair like out of my face. I hate the way I look like this. I hate the way I look. I look really weird, but it's alright. It's okay. It's alright. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Just gonna go into the living room and grab Tom real quick because uh, certain someone likes to cuddle a docky while I'm sleeping. So, I go and bring in Tom so that she doesn't steal my child. Because I wake up in the middle of the night without her, without Doc. <laughs> Panic because where's my child? So, Tom will be joining us tonight. Okay, the showering portion of this video is complete. This is the soul. Oh my god, it's time for my skincare. I look really weird. The lighting in this room is very dim, even with every single light on, which is very good for sleep, but uh, not very good for filming. So first, um, my skin right now is peeling like around my like face, obviously, around my mouth and my nose, which is probably just because I'm in a different city. But I will be doing a whole other video on my skincare routine, so look out for that. Where the hell is this cream? It was in one of the pockets, sorry. So first, um, this is all the interior of my dermatologist. So first I use this, oh my god. Yo, YouTube style here. Epi, it's an epidural cream and it's just on the spots that tend to break out the most and for me every second day because when I use it every day I my skin peels and I break up more so which is not very good so my dermatologist said to use it on the places that break out the most but for me I break out on my cheeks on my nose like down here by my lip and my eye uh, and my forehead which is basically my whole face so <laughs> I just end up applying it like just like a base layer of face cream because I break out everywhere. I look so weird. It's okay. Nobody looks good when doing skincare. Anyway, second cream is the La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay, and it is the Effacula Matte for anti pores, anti enlarge pores, anti shine, and sebo controlling moisturizer. This is just my like face cream, my moisturizer, and that goes on over the epidural. Something thing that's very important for me in terms of my night routine is the way my skin feels and smells um, at the time I'm going to bed. So in terms of feel, really just having like comfy clothes on, cozy stuff and things that aren't too tight that is good for me when i'm sleeping because if something if i'm sleeping and like something i don't like like a pajama like pajamas that's like, the waist doesn't fit properly or it's too tight or something 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 or the other i will not sleep i will not be able to fall asleep so the type of clothing i am wearing is very important and in terms of smell I just have to smell good, which is weird. Who 
what is the smell good when they're going to sleep apparently me so how that is tackled is i think you saw in the last clip i just used the nivea vanilla and almond oil lotion and that has such a strong scent that i just put it you know it's, it's, it's lotion <laughs> It has such a strong scent that it just, it makes me smell good. So that is very pleasing to my nostrils. Okay, so after that is just regular old Vaseline. I love Vaseline. I cannot live without it. Um, I used to be really bad at applying and reapplying Vaseline. I still am, but now I'm getting better, so. I am very clumsy, so earlier this morning I fell and I cut my leg. So, you know, put some Vaseline on that too because Vaseline fixes everything. Okay, oh my god. Okay, skincare is done. I'm gonna put this back in the bathroom because I just bought my whole clothes and I back to the room so I can film this. And then we're going to move on to the winding down portion of this video. Okay, this video is very low quality compared to my other videos, which is really saying something because most of my videos are low quality, but <laughs> these are the things I keep on my night desk that are really important to me in terms of going to sleep. So first, socks. I usually um, wear socks like when I come out the bathroom. Uh, but since I was getting straight into bed today, I decided not to. I don't sleep with the socks on, by the way. I'm not a heathen. I just, um, I wear them and then I kick them off before bed and I put them on when I get up in the morning. So socks stay on my night desk. My little adapter pal from actually from Typo. And this one's the sleepy one. His name is Steve. This is Steve 4.0 cause I use them so much. I always break them. And these are here just to relieve some stress and I can play with them and um, they really help because I'm a very hyper person. Uh, and hyperactivity before bed is something I really struggle with. So when I start to like, get hyper or I feel like I have a lot of energy, playing with this really helps. Uh, I do have pampers here, like baby wipes. Um, just because uh, I wipe down my devices every day before bed and I use the wipes to do that. Specifically, I don't use specifically baby wipes, but this is just the one I bought. I use wet wipes. And then, uh, yeah, so that's what I use the Pampers for. That's what I use the Pampers for. And then I have my AirPods, which I don't usually use before bed. I usually use them when I wake up in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I put my headphones in and I listen to music. So that's here for tomorrow morning. And my journal and a pencil case. In my journal, I have a little thing that says the urine pixels. And every day, I haven't pulled it out yet. I just saw it. Every day I go in and I like um, highlight what my overall mood was for the day. And I make it, uh, a habit to, I'm not going to show it too long, to, but to write out everything that happened today into the journal, even if like nothing interesting happened. Like today I stayed at home and I studied. Before I started the camera to go shower, I was studying from about six and I started at about, and I um, clicked record for the first time at around half, around one actually. So I make it a habit just to write down about my day. This is just the pencil case that has a pen and the highlighter colors. And that's about it. That's my bedtime non negotiables. And one other thing is that I find that writing down about my day and about my worries before bed really helps me clear my mind and I rest so much better. Um, so if you have trouble sleeping because of a busy mind, I really recommend that. And one more thing, if you're like me and you like to wind down on your devices, what the hell is that? Hogwarts, Myst Hogwarts Mystery, it's a game, sorry. And you like to wind down on your devices before bed, then night shift mode is a must. 
make sure you turn it on. I have mine scheduled, so it turns on automatically at sun set and then turns off automatically at sunrise. So when I'm winding down on my devices, it blocks out all the blue lights. It's a lot easier on my eyes and it's a lot easier when I'm falling asleep. So yeah, that is actually about it for my night routine. Um, I am going to be doing a video on sleep hacks and I said um, in this video I'm going to be doing a hair, a, oh my god, a video on my skincare routine. So look forward for that. And my travel vlog, since I am in Cape Town right now, travel vlogs are coming. So look forward to that. And is that it, Doctor? She thinks it's it. So I love you all so much. I'm just going to head to bed now. Do my little rituals and head to bed. Um, I love you all so much. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. 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 Wait, my heart. Bye-bye. <laughs>